Hey, you guys, it's Anne Marie. Happy Saturday. I'm still here, bitches. <laughs> oh, they really thought they had me this time, didn't they? They always do. You know, I was watching on YouTube. If you haven't uh, subscribed to me on YouTube, you subscribe to me, I subscribe to you. I'm grateful for my YouTube uh, subscribers. They are amazing. Um, but I'm Sage of the Soul on YouTube, just like I am on TikTok here. And I was watching one of my favorite readers. I've talked about her before, Intuitive Goddess 333. She's amazing. Um, she does a lot of collective messages, which are great because a lot of people can resonate with them. So they're not always sign specific. Specific, So you'll get a lot out of them. Um, but she was given this amazing message. I resonate a lot with her messages because it's, it's hard for me to tell the story of what I've been through because I don't know how to tell it. I don't know how to tell it. Um, because it just seems so bizarre. <laughs> it's bigger than that. <laughs> um, but she was talking about today how people aren't recognizing there is a double jeopardy when it comes to hexes and spell work. And, you know, I have survived all suits, the five of cups, the five, <laughs> the five of swords, the five of wands, like all of that. I survived homelessness in the winter. I survived poverty. I have survived isolation. I have survived the death of my mother. I have survived every hex and curse they've sent my fucking way. And I'm still here. And they keep trying me. And what's always interesting to me is that these practitioners that have done work on me haven't done their research on me. That I never went into any situation or any group as a bum I never went into any situation, anything other than the divine being that I am, and caused chaos or drama or any of those things. I saw the fucking truth, and that's when I became the problem. I was very giving to these groups I used to be a part of in the community and in my family and in my friends. Like I, I was always a very giving and kind person. Even when I didn't have two pennies to rub together. And it was interesting. I It was the typical narcissist type of thing. And there's a lot of narcissists in the spiritual community. Just like in any other group settings. Um, you know, where I gave and I gave and I gave. And I was, I was making pretty good money. Um, and then I lost that job. And then all of a sudden I was a piece of shit. I was a bum. Trying to come in between people's marriages. Which I would never. <laughs> which I would never. And I would never try to take advantage of anybody because I saw that happen my whole life to my father and to people around me. And that goes against me being for the underdog. No matter what scenario I'm in, I'm always for the underdog, right? And um, the injustices in the world. And I, I mean, that's why I became a social worker um, because I was tired of seeing the injustices around me. And that's why I continue to work with populations of people who are the least respected, you know, like the homeless and people with MRDD and um, especially the homeless, our homeless guests and uh, members in our community here. And people just assume that they don't want to work or sorry, I'm holding my cards here because it's the wind is a wind, which is amazing. Um, but anyway, um, and so when I didn't have that money, I was a total piece of shit. Wouldn't have nothing to do with me. Then I became the problem. But then I started seeing patterns in these groups as I saw patterns in my families, as I saw patterns in my previous friend groups. And they thought by isolating me, by spreading these horrible, 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 oh my God, <coughs> narratives about me, that would make me quit and give up like everybody else that they did this to. They didn't do their research on me. I don't give up. It's not in my DNA. It's not in my royal bloodline. I don't give up. It doesn't matter. They thought that would take me back out when they did all those things to me. And continue to do. They're just like reworking it. And they keep going to these practitioners. And these practitioners aren't doing their research on me. And then they're realizing... This person has done nothing wrong. You're just jealous and hateful and a clout chaser and try to take people's ideas because you're a bum yourself. But who am I? And so it's been difficult to tell um, the story because as we know that there's so many roots to it, there's so much depth to it. And I noticed a huge shift of change when I really started to see things. I started to see death around them wasn't what it appeared to be. 
I saw how other people around them were deemed crazy and insane and how these groups of people talked about other people in the group. And I'm not about that shit. And so it's been um, interesting, to say the least. It has really opened my eyes. And um, I'm grateful for everything. Because I never had to use spell work or anything negative towards anybody to come out of this. I did it all on my fucking own. Me and the divine and the nature spirits and, you know, Mother Earth. That's who helped me get out of my shit. Nobody else. There was all these looky-loos watching as these people came for me and attacked me. And they got on board, too. Oh, she's nobody. Surprise, motherfucker. I'm telling it all. And if anything, these last couple years, my whole fucking life, this happened to me since I was a child. And so when new groups come in think they could just do the same thing, it's like, oh, this looks familiar. Hi, family. <laughs> they realize I'm not the one or the two. And what I've realized is that how much power and strength that I hold. I didn't need to have groups of people around me. I didn't need to be a part of anything because I was a part of the divine master plan. And luckily, I finally, I was always anti-TikTok and I finally started doing videos because I, I, all I had was the divine. I was developing a relationship more with Mother Earth and the divine and spirit and the universe. And these connections I've made on these social media apps, TikTok and YouTube, um, there's a, it's, it's, it's a, there's a special type of family. <laughs> and I've grown and healed and I've become stronger, bolder, more fierce, more fiery. I'm really, and have, and keep t continue to step into who I really am. And I'm so grateful that I stepped down on a limb many times through fear. And, and I've been watching a lot of my old videos. I'm like, oh my God. I was like, because <laughs> I was getting them messages, but I just couldn't communicate them because all the spell work. I mean, I'm going to tell you, these people were coming after me. It was major spell work left and right. They tried to attack my foundation. They did attack my foundation. Oh, we'll make her be homeless in the wintertime. Someone even stole my cat, actually. Uh, Mr. Beezer was gone for two weeks. Someone stole my cat and shit. Um, that's a whole other story. But I've realized how strong I am. And I, um, I'm grateful for that divine. And though I've done a video like this before, I just want to say how grateful I am to you. My people. I won't say my tribe, but the seers who see me and I see you. Thank you for your amazing content, your downloads, your experiences, your pictures of the trees, your uh, pictures of your animals and Mother Nature. Um, it does. It makes me want to cry. I've never in my life felt so loved by people I've never met. And I know it's not fake. So thank you. We can, we shall, and we do, and we are overcoming I'm still trying to figure out how to tell my story. It's just unbelievable what I've been through. <laughs> I've, doing a, I've been doing a lot of that reflection. I think that's what Spirit wanted me to do these last, this last week when I've been under the weather. I've been feeling the attacks. I know, I know how they try to attack me. They try to attack my foundation. They try, I mean, I, I already know. It's like the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. They try to attack every level. In case you're not, if you, people don't know, um, we're out of time, but it's like, you know, try to attack every level because, you know, who would survive that? Only people from the divine, only one of the chosen ones, people who chose to take the pill, who chose to make this walk. But anyway, I'm still working on how to tell this story because it's just um, unreal. And so I've been doing a lot of reflection this last week while I've been kind of under the weather and spirit has given me a flip book of how far I've come. And so... Thank you to those who have supported me. I am grateful. Mad love to you. I hope you're healthy and happy and full of joy. I truly do.
heal, don't harm. Have a